Our pressure ulcer team had just done a NDNQI survey, which is the net nursing data national, wait. <laughs> okay. Nursing quality indicators. National data nursing quality indicators. Um, it's just a survey that we do every couple of months to look at our pressure ulcers and possibilities and potential and issues on our floor. Actually, they do it hospital-wide. The team came back and reported to me that <clears throat> they were seeing some redness behind the ears and they were concerned because they know that we have tubing that has um, padding on the ear pieces to keep patients from breaking down. Um, I'm part of the um, pressure ulcer prevention team. I've been working on that and I'm also, I also do the quarterly NDQI housewide skin survey. Um, well, you know, the PUP team has been working on decreasing pressure ulcers and um, some of the patients that we've seen on the inpatient units have developed pressure ulcers behind their ears and so forth and um, they're trying to streamline decreasing the number of patients that experience these. And so I just told Joni to go ahead and email Tracy Labor, who is the manager for PACU, and ask her if this was a possibility from her, you know, her side to look at cost considerations, et cetera, and the fact that the patient would be incurring twice as much cost if we did have to convert them from one tubing to the next. Um, she emailed Tracy, CC'd me on it. Tracy was more than willing to do that, thought it was a great idea. She took it, um, followed up with Joni to make sure, let her know about the change date that they would do it, followed up with some materials control so that they could put them in their Omni cells. Um, I got an email from Tracy Labor asking about whether we could get different tubing in the Omni cell in recovery. It's just one more unnecessary step, I thought. So she said, see where you want to go with it. So I just emailed Tracy Labor, who runs the recovery room. And um, Joni Schneider, it kind of came to her attention as she was receiving these patients that we were transferring out of the recovery room onto the floor. And it uh, kind of came to her attention and um, she just uh, sent me an email wondering if it would be possible that we start implementing the tubing in there since we wean the bulk of the patients, you know, onto nasal cannula in the recovery room. If we could just start the tubing in the recovery room so that when they hit the floor they have the uh, appropriate tubing that would decrease um, the chance of developing ulcers behind the ear. And so she sent me an email. And asked if there was any reason that the recovery room nurses couldn't just switch to the kind with um, the foam cushions. And she said, I'll look into it. Doesn't seem to be a problem. And now it's happening. That we uh, contacted um, Sharna in um, supply chain to just swap out the tubing in our Omni cells. So now, anytime we wean a patient off of oxygen, um, that we have to actually physically put them onto a nasal cannula. We utilize the um, tubing that has the cushions to um, help prevent um, pressure. We've kind of converted over to that and it's been very seamless and nobody's really had any concerns or issues with it, but our patients are a lot safer now for it. Like I said, it's very seamless, you know, if nurses need something or if there's a breakdown in, you know, the product they're using, supply chain is on it right away and, you know, we really have a huge group behind us that work on major issues like that and we really try and keep it seamless for the nurses on the floor so that they don't see those problems. You know I think it um, I think it makes a huge difference. I think it, it takes um, your initial manager to be very receptive. And so I think the whole autonomy of nursing taking care of patients needs to exist and I think that patient um, the comfort and confidence that they have to have with their leadership team has to exist. I mean, I feel bad that we as an organization don't keep a list. I mean, I'm bad at not keeping a list. We do good every day that we don't pat ourselves on the back every day. It's just second nature to them. They're excellent nurses. And you see that in the departments. If we have an issue with another department, it's really easy to go to them and say we need to talk about it. Everybody's got an open door about it. They want to resolve issues so that we're doing the best thing for everybody. I think if you don't get that support that you're ideas are valuable or we end up being plodding along doing things the same way because we've always kind of done them and people are smart there's a there's a whole culture here that encourages that to me magnet is just um, an award um, recognizing us for the good kid that we do each and every day